Okay. What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's your girl, E Shark of E Shark TV, where I give you the real deal on everything reality. And this week, I decided to do something a little new and give you a week in review. Boom, Q explosion. So, this week has been pretty, pretty crazy, and there's been some good stuff to talk about, so why not hit on it? You know, I attack on things like that. In the news, it's been this dude, Brett Lockett, NFL player. I won't even say the team because you all know I really don't care about sports like that. He plays football. He has been going around saying that him and Kim Kardashian have had this lustful relationship and she was cheating on her current fiancé. And at first I'm like, you know what, that sounds like her. I mean, she looks kind of skanky sometimes. So I'm like, hey, it fits. But then I seen... The video on TMZ where they were grilling the dude and asking him questions like, hey, you know, like, what was the situation with your relationship? How did you guys first meet? And do you know this dude said they never even met in person? That was number one that made me start to think, dude, you're a fool. Like, you got all this money and you lying? Like, for what? Like, you look kind of retarded. And even if you're not lying, you're exaggerating something big time. I mean, look at the dude. He looks a little funny bunny if you ask me. And you know how I feel about football players anyway. That's a little bit too much man on man contact. So something's going on. A little Greco-Roman wrestling late night with him. Like he really looks fruity. He always got on medium t-shirts and stuff like that. Like it makes me wonder. Then, I mean come on now. Kim Kardashian has been through enough. Have you not seen her music video? Must we put her through anything else? She suffered. Leave her alone. Like I really don't see why this dude is lying like this. It's not a good look at all. Then speaking of not a good look, we have Tracy Morgan. So, a couple of days ago, he did a show in Nashville where he went in on, like, the whole gay community. I mean, I can say he didn't go in on lesbians, but if you're going under the gay community, it's the gay community, period. Man, female, queer, transgender, like, he really went in. He was saying how God doesn't make mistakes, so he knows that gay can't be a choice, and how, you know, people need to just stop being punks about this bullying thing and committing suicide. And it was really like, time out. On one end, I feel like comedy goes both ways. Everybody gets joke on, whether it be your race or your gender, you know. You want to be treated equal, then, hey, you know, jokes equally come your way. But this was more than just a joke. It was almost like, come on, I'll do it. Like, really then, it went a little bit too far. Now, he put out a couple apologies out there, but... Does it really matter whether somebody puts an apology after the fact? Like, according to NBC, it doesn't because it looks like he's going to be losing his position on the show 30 Rock, which I love. So, hey, sucks to be you, Tracy Morgan. It's hard out there for a pimp. And now I have another section that I like to introduce called Props of the Week. Props of the Week goes to Kelly with her motivation. Go, 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 go. Thank you. That was my rendition of the song. Um, everybody has been jumping on this remix. It's ridiculous. I mean, let's look at the list. It's been R. Kelly, Trey Songs, Mario, Fabulous, Bus a Bus, The Dream, and even that homeless dude, Ted Williams. I heard he got a track. I'll leak it for you later. Yeah, he's on there too. I mean, everybody, like your mama, my mama, everybody's on there. And so I give her props because she's doing her thing. I hope this isn't going to be the only song because it kind of has that one hit wonder feel to it. But who knows? She's supposed to have something else coming out in the works. So let's see how it goes. And now, to end everything off, I kind of, you know, I'm about the community too. It's not all about the dollar dollar bill for me, you know, and the uh, attention of the internet. Sometimes I really need to talk to you guys. And this is a serious issue going on. Lately, my Twitter and my Facebook account have been just ran through by all this basketball talk. And God damn it, I'm happy that it's over. Because every two seconds I'm hearing, heat this, Dallas this, heat this, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm finding out people who was fans of teams that I didn't even know watched basketball until this whole thing hit off. So, just in case you missed it, I'll do a recap for you. There was a game, there was a court, there was a ball. Two people tried to shoot the ball, you know, two teams. One team shot the ball in more than the other team. People cried, people laughed, people tweeted. You know, uh, Baby in particular, he cried. Whoa there. You know, it was kind of hard because he lost two mil. But he lived it up in the end, you know. And the Mavs ended up winning. Hope I'm even saying the team right. I'm not sure. So that's the recap. So from now on, 
if you want to talk about, you know, sports and things of that nature, do it on MySpace, someplace where nobody will see it, okay? Because you're just really, I'm trying to get real important stuff like what did Jennifer wear last night and who ate a taco for breakfast, okay? Don't flood my Facebook when I'm trying to get important information. That's for my week in review. If you feel like there's something that I missed, then hit me up at Erica Shark at esharktv.com. Or, you never know, next week may bring some good things that you want me to talk about. Send those topics to that email. You can catch me on my YouTube channel at uh, slash esharktv or on Twitter. Follow me at slash esharktv. And then, you know, you always have the website, www.esharktv.com, where I give you the real deal on everything reality a special shout out to my cousin skittles it's her birthday happy birthday and everybody out there that's been rocking with me um we have less than a month to the conference and so big things are going to be popping so stay tuned